Hey church. Hey, have you ever felt stressed out, overwhelmed by the issues in life, larger than life looming in your mind, not knowing how you're gonna navigate them? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm sure everybody has at some point in time, maybe even in this season, and I am so grateful that if you've placed your faith in Jesus, we have a God who wants to be able to journey with us through every issue. And many times he comes alongside me and so gently and lovingly corrects me and shows me, son, you're looking at your life from the wrong perspective. You know, a few months ago, I got my son a kid telescope because he wanted to be able to look at the moon. And so we got it, came in the box, got it out, put it together, and we waited for a full moon and we go outside in the evening and sure enough, my son starts to look at the moon through the telescope from the wrong end. Now, me being the good dad that I am, I didn't say a thing because I wanted to get a good laugh. And he began to say, Dad, how come the moon's so small? How come it's so far away? And after I got done laughing quite a bit, I uh, told him, son, you're looking at it from the wrong end. It's giving you the wrong perspective. How many times do we do that in our own lives? How many times do we have the wrong perspective when we look at our issues and therefore magnify our problems larger than who God is? You know, I want to read you a psalm from Psalm chapter 8. King David is writing. And I want to read you verses 3 and 4 because I believe it highlights what we can do to be able to gain the right perspective. David writes and he says this, When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? I love this because King David, he goes out and looks up at the stars, something much larger than himself, something he is even beyond his understanding. He looks at the expanse of the heavens and all of creation, and he begins to gain perspective yet again of who his God is. And from that place, he looks at himself and he says, God, who are you that you're mindful of me? When you hold all this together with the power of your word, who are you that you would even look my way, let alone love me and care for me in an intimate manner? If you could hold all this together, of course you could hold my life together. And in this moment, he zooms out from his own life, from his own problems, and he's able to look at creation and that allows him to magnify who God is in his heart. He doesn't make God bigger as a person, but he makes the person of God bigger in his heart. And maybe it's time we need to do that as well. What's one thing you could do this week to be able to magnify God in your heart? Is it spending some quiet time in the Word? Is it going to your favorite park? Is it taking a hike in creation? Is it going to the ocean? Is it looking up at the stars at night and allowing yourself to quiet long enough to realize your God is much bigger than you think? Because when you get to this place, when you zoom out and get the right perspective now, when you go back and you look at your life with the right perspective, instead of living in fear, now you can stand in awe. God wants us to be liberated, my friend. Yes, there's issues in life that we need to pay attention to, but we need to have the right perspective. For us, maybe it's time that we zoom out and gain the right perspective.